The overall goal of this procedure is to estimate leukemia stem cells in acute myeloid leukemia and inpatient-derived xenografts by flow cytometry at diagnosis and at treatment follow-up. This method can answer key questions in the hematology-oncology field, such as the clinical relevance of the quantitative assessment of leukemia stem cells by flow cytometry in acute myeloid leukemia. The main advantage of this technique is that it is applicable to most hematology-oncology laboratories with commonly used antibodies. This procedure will be demonstrated by Thomas, a postdoc, Fanny, a grad student, and Adeline, an engineer from my laboratory. To begin, collect 2 milliliters of bone marrow from de novo AML in tubes containing 1.8 milligrams per milliliter of the anticoagulant EDTA. Isolate mononuclear cells from red blood cells and granulocytes by first diluting bone marrow in three volumes of PBS. Then, carefully overlay one volume of FICOL with one volume of diluted bone marrow. Spin the density gradient at 300G for 30 minutes without a break. Then, transfer the white buffy coat layer of mononucleated cells into a new sterile tube. To remove the supernatant contaminating serum components, add 10 milliliters of PBS and centrifuge the cells at 300G for 5 minutes before repeating the wash. Lice the red blood cells by